Bob, we'll see you then. New at 6, it's the road people try to avoid, but often they cannot. And it's even more congested this time of year. We're talking about Woodruff Road. It's just a headache. Greenville County Council just held their special called meeting to vote on a major traffic project that could overhaul Woodruff Road. Oh, Brooklyn Cromer live outside the council chambers there. So, Brooklyn, what do we know about this vote? Well, Cody, Council just voted in favor of the Woodruff Road expansion project. So if you're out doing some last minute shopping on Woodruff Road and frustrating with all, frustrated with all the traffic, just know it will get better once this project is completed. Now, Council tells us the parallel parkway extension would alleviate some of the congestion there on Woodruff Road. It would add a four, mile, four lane bypass over a two and a half mile stretch between Verde Boulevard and Smith Hines Road. The extension would follow Woodruff Road over I-85 and 385 and let drivers out by Smith Pines Road, which is beside La Barra, uh, Taco La Barra. This is just across the street from Walmart on Woodruff Road. Now, council has held several public forums to get input from people in the area, and drivers we've talked to say they're in favor. The council says it will cut down on traffic significantly. Everybody's on the same page. This will be third and final reading. Everybody knows we have to do something about Woodruff Road, so there's really no argument about we need to spend the $30 million uh, to make this project happen. That's why we're meeting tonight, so we can get it done by the end of the year. Now, the project does come with a hefty price tag that cost $121 million. The state would cover 40 per, four, excuse me, 40 percent. The Greenville Pickens Transportation Study, 35 percent, and the county would cover the remaining 25 percent. And tonight at 10, we'll break down more details and tell you what you can expect as this project gets underway. Cody.